Hello and welcome to day four of our five-day Restore Your Core Yoga Challenge. And way to go for sticking with it so far. You only have one more day left after this, so keep it up. Uh, we'll start seated today, actually. Hands on your lap. I'm sitting up on a blanket. I love to prop my hips up a little higher. Uh, so you can play with that and see what's comfortable for you. And then let's just begin by softening our gaze, connecting with our breath. Noticing how every inhale, everything expands out, right? It's not just the front of our body. It's not just our belly. It's our ribs. They expand out wide. Even our back expands out. And then everything compresses back in on the exhale. Okay, on your next breath in, lift the chest so you're coming into a little bit of a, a cow shape, but we're doing seated cat-cow. Draw the shoulder blades together and tilt your pelvis forward. And then on your exhale, round your spine, draw the belly button in and tuck the chin down. Good, just back and forth like that. Inhale, open, and exhale, round. And a couple more, inhale, exhale, Last time, breathe in, and then breathe out as you just sit up tall and bring your hands to the sides of your ribs. Again, yes, one big breath in as you feel the rib cage expand out into your hands. And a breath out as you compress them back down. Beautiful, now all we're going to do is glide, I call them glide side to side. Okay, now this is different from tipping over to the side. You wanna keep your shoulders even and just glide. So it's like a rib cage isolation. Okay, directly side to side. And we're starting to get a little bit, you might notice your obliques, the muscles on the sides of your abdominals starting to turn on. And that's what we're trying to get into here. Just bring awareness to that area as you breathe. Good. Now, taking it in a circular motion, inhale, open the chest, bring the rib cage forward, and exhale, bring it back and around. So I call this move scraping the barrel because it's like your rib cage is on the inside of a barrel, scraping it. So that's the motion we want. Don't overthink it, but remember your shoulders stay pretty even. And there's a little bit of that cat-cow action here, rounding as we come back, opening as we come forward. And you can connect your breath in that way as well. Let's take it the other way. So it would be exhale as you come back and inhale as you come forward. Good, and then back up to a neutral spine. And let's just do the glides one more time. You might have a better handle on it now. If your body doesn't really wanna move this way, that's okay. Uh, it might take some time um, to open up these parts of our body and really understand how to move this way. So don't beat yourself up over it, just do what you can. And when you come back to this later, you might find it to be a little easier. Okay. And I do recommend coming back to this later, by the way. So if you're sitting on something, set it aside and bring your feet out in front of you because you will notice an improvement over time. So I highly recommend revisiting this challenge later. Okay, so setting up for our boat pose. I believe we did this maybe the second day. Hands behind your knees, sit up tall, Get that sensation of zipping up the pair of pants where the pelvic floor is drawing in, your low abdomen is drawing in, and then lean back with that feeling. Now this time, I'd like you to interlace your fingers in front of you, maybe with the pointer, fingers out, that slight tuck of the tailbone. Good, and then just breathe here. Okay, now, remember if your back is bothered by this, you can come up out of it a little bit, all right? Now point to the left, lean back to the right okay so we're like facing the left once again turning on those obliques just a little bit and breathing coming back through center and then pointing to the right leaning back to the left good 
Again, through center. Point to the left, lean back to the right. Back through center. And to point to the right, lean back to the left. Okay, back through center. Release your hands, let your knees open, and let's take that forward fold in Baddha Konasana, butterfly, letting your head release and breathing deep. Okay, roll on up. Bring your knees back together for round two. Now, I'd like you to do exactly what we just did if that was plenty for you. But if you want a little more, let's set up, lean back, and maybe lift the shins this time as you interlace your fingers. Now, just check in and honestly ask yourself, are you feeling your hip flexors take over or your back? If so, just release the feet down and I promise over time this will get easier and easier, okay? Zip up the pants. Good, okay, breathe and then point to the left, lean back to the right. Come back through center. Point to the right, lean back to the left. Come back through center, and I'll let you, let you stop here. So release the feet down. Give yourself a nice hug around your shins. A couple of deep breaths into the back side of your body. And then release that hug. Hands come behind you and let your knees fall side to side. So like the windshield wiper action. You can let the hip lift if that feels good. Okay, and then come around back to hands and knees. Shift your hips forward and I want you to try that um, we're in the knee down plank. I want you to try lifting the arm. See if it's any easier today. And you can just pop on up to that high plank if you would prefer, if that one felt better to you. Remember, we're trying to stabilize our hips, our pelvis, our spine. Beautiful. Okay, go ahead and slowly lie down on your stomach with control. And then we'll prop ourselves up on our forearms for Sphinx pose. So elbows right under your shoulders, palms plant down, and then I want you to actively tuck your tailbone, or that's not the right phrasing. Think of lengthening your tailbone down towards your heels as the pit of the abdomen draws up, almost like you're gonna lift your hips up off the mat, right? That's how strong I want that and pretend like you're gripping the floor and pulling it towards you. And just hold here and breathe for a moment with that engagement. And one more thing, we're not sinking into our shoulders, we're pressing up actively out of the mat. Good, now, if you are one of my people with low back discomfort, just be cautious with this next one. Listen to your body, don't do it if it hurts. Tuck your toes, actively draw that low belly in and you're lifting it in so much that your hips start to lift up and we can pop on up to a forearm plank. Now remember, knees can always be down here. Yeah, listen to your body, breathe. Actively press out of the floor with your forearms. And then release your knees down if they're lifted and rest in any way that feels good to you. Maybe that's on your stomach, shifting your hips side to side, or maybe that's child's pose. but we will do one more of these. So recover, deep breaths. And then take your time propping yourself back up to Sphinx. Once again, we have that action of drawing the earth towards you, broadening the collarbone, drawing the low belly in, breathing in and out the nose, and then let's pop on up whenever you're ready. Okay, now you can stay here or you can start to dip your hips side to side. So it's like you're gonna almost touch the mat with your hip and then come back up through center and then almost touch it with the other side and make sure you're breathing throughout all of this. Take your time, none of this is about speed. You won't get any more benefits for doing more reps, I promise. Slow controlled movement is where it's at. 
back to center and release and rest. Mm, hips shift side to side. Palms plant under your shoulders. Press yourself up or you can flip around on your back because it's time for our rest. Take a few moments of stillness, letting everything soften, integrating everything we just did, all of that goodness for your body and mind. Thank you for joining me today. I'll see you tomorrow for the final day. Yay!